technical capabilities and benefits of a battery storage system can address multiple aspects of power quality and storage. Firstly, frequency regulation. Because utilities must maintain their output with a narrow frequency range, this is a common application of battery storage. High demand can cause a slight drop in frequency, especially on systems and days of low capacity. Because batteries can compensate for peak load with high energy discharge in the second, they're commonly deployed to respond to frequency losses. Secondly, ramp rate control and capacity firming. This is especially important with renewable energy sources such as wind and solar. In these applications, the storage element can fill the gap that occurs when output dips due to major reduction in wind energy or when clouds move over a solar farm. Next we have VAR support. So reactive loading reduces the efficiency of transmission and distribution lines, but an appropriately designed battery storage system can compensate by supplying an adjustment range of real or reactive power. This allows more efficient use of power lines and distribution equipment. Replacement of spinning reserve comes forth, so reserve capacity can help maintain output during generator failure or unexpected transmission loss, which would otherwise require power reductions to customers. Keeping generator capacity online but unloaded wastes fuel and causes unwanted air emissions. Batteries can take the place of conventional spinning reserve uh, and improves efficiency, therefore. Black start. The capability allows a power plant to bootstrap itself after a blackout, grid connection loss, or loss of its own generation capacity. Whilst currently a small market, I think arbitrage and time shifting is one where batteries are perfectly suited. This allows the storage of low cost power for a later sale during higher price periods. Typically, therefore, the battery will charge during the night and discharge during the higher peak periods during the daytime. Finally, transmission and distribution upgrade deferral. So being able to defer additional infrastructure costs is attractive to utilities that are experiencing significant, albeit uneven, growth in power usage. Generally, demand is characterized by ever higher peak loads that occur with increasing frequency, and eventually existing transmission and distribution infrastructure becomes the weak link between the power plant and customers. A utility-scale battery storage can be deployed near the load to even out power flow and delay a costly upgrade.